Welcome to the Human Meme Podcast. I'm AI David Bowles, and along with our Crackbot AI research team, today we will dig into the intricate and often misunderstood world of mental health, a hidden cry for help, unraveling the complexities of factitious disorder. This disorder, a labyrinth of self-inflicted suffering, stands at the crossroads of psychological distress and a deep-seated need for validation. In our exploration, we will uncover the historical evolution of this condition from its early identification to its current understanding in the medical community. We will examine the perplexing behaviors associated with factitious disorder, where individuals go to extraordinary lengths to fabricate or induce symptoms of illness often risking their own health in a paradoxical quest for care and attention. As we navigate through this complex topic, we will shed light on the psychological underpinnings of the disorder, exploring how a troubled past, marked by trauma or emotional neglect, can lead to a desperate search for empathy within the confines of a patient's identity. We will also discuss the challenges this disorder poses to healthcare systems and professionals, touching upon the ethical dilemmas and the strain on medical resources. Moreover, our discussion will extend to the societal and cultural dimensions of factitious disorder, contemplating how societal norms and the digital age influence its manifestation and management. Factitious disorder a complex mental health condition, stands as a testament to the intricate and often perplexing nature of human psychology. It's a condition where a person deliberately and artificially induces or fabricates symptoms of illness in themselves. Historically, this disorder has been known by various names, most notably as Munchausen syndrome, named after Baron Munchausen, an 18th-century German nobleman known for his penchant for fantastical stories. The timeline of discovery and intervention of factitious disorder is as intriguing as it is complex. It was first conceptualized in psychiatric literature in the early 1950s with the term Munchausen syndrome coined by Richard Asher in 1951. Over the decades, our understanding of this disorder has evolved leading to its current classification in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, DSM-5, as factitious disorder imposed on self. The manifestations of factitious disorder are diverse and often difficult to distinguish from genuine medical conditions. Individuals with this disorder go to great lengths to fabricate symptoms, often subjecting themselves to painful procedures and tests risking serious injury and even life-threatening conditions. They might ingest toxins, inflict wounds, or manipulate laboratory tests to mimic diseases. The sophistication and depth of their deception can be astonishing, often baffling medical professionals. But what drives a person to such extremes? At the heart of factitious disorder lies a deep-seated need for attention, care, and sympathy typically afforded to those who are ill. Unlike malingering, where the motivation is external gain, such as financial compensation or avoiding work, factitious disorder is driven by an internal psychological need. It's a cry for help, a complex expression of emotional distress, these individuals are often running from underlying psychological pain, seeking solace in the identity of a patient, an identity that brings them the attention and compassion they crave, yet often eludes them in their true selves. Consider the case of Anna, a pseudonym for a patient who repeatedly presented herself at various hospitals with a myriad of symptoms. Each time her stories were convincing, her symptoms seemingly real, leading to numerous unnecessary surgeries. Anna's case is not just a medical jolt. It's a narrative of emotional turmoil, a quest for identity and acceptance through the lens of illness. As examined the nature of factitious disorder, we see a reflection of the broader human condition 
the quest for identity, the need for connection, and the lengths to which individuals will go to fulfill these fundamental human desires. The future of intervention and prognosis in factitious disorder lies in a compassionate, multidisciplinary approach that addresses not just the physical manifestations, but the underlying psychological needs. Many individuals with factitious disorder have a history of trauma or neglect. Their childhoods may have been marred by emotional absence or inconsistency in caregiving. In these formative years, they might not have received the attention and care necessary for healthy emotional development. As a result, in adulthood, they seek out the nurturing and concern typically afforded to the sick. Hospital environments become sanctuaries where they feel valued and cared for, a stark contrast to their everyday lives where such feelings are notably absent. In terms of intervention, the approach to factitious disorder must be as multifaceted as the condition itself. Traditional medical treatments are often insufficient, as the root of the problem lies deep within the psyche. Psychological therapy, particularly cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, can be instrumental in addressing the underlying issues. Through therapy, patients can learn to understand their motivations, develop healthier coping mechanisms, and address the emotional voids that fuel their deceptive behaviors. As well, the medical community's approach to diagnosing and managing factitious disorder requires a balance of skepticism and empathy. While it's essential to identify and prevent unnecessary medical interventions, it's equally important to address the patient's psychological needs without judgment or condemnation. A collaborative approach involving psychiatrists, psychologists, and primary care physicians is often necessary to provide comprehensive care. Also, the societal implications of factitious disorder are profound. This condition sheds light on the broader human condition, our innate need for attention and validation. It raises questions about how society views and treats the mentally ill, particularly those whose symptoms are not overtly visible. It challenges the stigma surrounding mental health urging a more compassionate and understanding perspective towards those who struggle in silence. The cultural context in which individuals live plays a significant role in the manifestation and management of factitious disorder. In societies where there is a high value placed on medical care and where being a patient can confer certain benefits, be it attention, care, or an escape from responsibilities. The disorder may manifest more frequently or severely. This societal dimension highlights the need for a broader, more holistic approach to mental health, one that takes into account the cultural and environmental factors that contribute to such disorders. Another critical aspect of factitious disorder is its impact on healthcare systems and professionals. The disorder not only poses diagnostic and therapeutic challenges, but also raises ethical and moral questions. Healthcare providers are often placed in a quandary, balancing the need to provide compassionate care against the risk of being complicit in a patient's self harmful behavior. The disorder can strain resources, lead to potential burnout among healthcare professionals, and evoke feelings of betrayal once the deception is revealed. Addressing these challenges requires training and awareness programs for medical staff, equipping them to better identify and manage such complex cases. In addition, there is a need to consider the legal and ethical implications of factitious disorder. The boundary between patient autonomy and medical responsibility becomes blurred in these cases. When does intervention become necessary, and how does one navigate the ethical complexities of treating a patient who is actively deceiving healthcare providers? These questions have no easy answers, but demand a nuanced and thoughtful approach, balancing the rights of the individual with the need to prevent harm. Furthermore, the relationship between factitious disorder and technology, particularly the Internet, warrants attention. 
The digital age has brought about a new dimension to the disorder, with access to vast amounts of medical information online. Some individuals may use this information to better fabricate their illnesses, complicating the diagnostic process. However, the Internet also offers opportunities for support and education, both for those suffering from the disorder and for healthcare professionals. As we draw our exploration of factitious disorder to a close, we find ourselves standing at the threshold of a profound realization. This disorder, a cacophony of pain, deception, and a yearning for empathy, challenges us to rethink our perceptions of mental health. It's not just a medical conundrum, but a mirror reflecting the deep-seated complexities of the human psyche. Through the stories of those afflicted, we witness a poignant struggle for identity and acknowledgement played out in the theaters of hospitals and clinics. Factitious disorder, with its intricate masquerade of symptoms, calls out to us, urging a re-examination of our societal attitudes towards illness and health. It highlights the necessity for a compassionate, multidisciplinary approach that transcends the boundaries of traditional medicine. In this conversation, we've uncovered not just the layers of a psychiatric condition, but we've also unraveled a part of the human condition, the intrinsic need for connection, understanding, and acceptance. This exploration leaves us with a resounding message. In the intricate web of mental health, empathy and understanding are not just therapeutic tools, but the very essence of healing. For the Human Meme Podcast, I'm A.I. David Bowles, wishing you a safe today and a wonderful tomorrow. Be a human meme.